So welcome to Technodad Life and uh, today's episode we're going to be installing Librasonic which is a music streaming server and so basically we're going to be installing it and then with the right app which will give you have a link to the page where you can that, that you can stream your uh, music anywhere. And as always if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is type in Librasonic or Linux server Librasonic. And once you've found that, click on that and then click Start. Once that's done, click Close. Here you can see it right there. We're going to click on the info page. And so here are usage parameters. So basically we need a config folder. We need to be able to get to our music folder. Uh, if we have a playlist folder, podcast folders, and we're not going to do the media folder because I don't find it actually works for anything. We're going to add in a PUID and a PJID, and we don't need the context path. And we're going to do time zone and we're going to do that on 4040. So that's what we're going to do. So next click uh, Librasonic and then click run image and we're going to type in Librasonic. Restart policy is always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. We're going to type in 4040. Hit the plus sign. Next we'll put in our PUID and our PGID. Next we'll put in our time zone. Then hit the plus sign. And then we're going to go down to container paths. We're going to hit slash and config. And so first we have to add in our config folder. So we go to our server, go to app data. We're going to add in Librasonic. And then we can close that and go back up here. Go to shared folders, app data. And then Librasonic, click OK, hit the plus sign, hit slash again, then hit music, hit that, go to shared folders, go to our media and our music folder, hit the plus sign. Next we're going to hit that again, hit playlists. And so if you haven't already, you can go back to your server, go to media and add in podcasts and playlists. Once you've done that, hit close. Go back here, hit shared folders and media and playlists. Hit OK, hit the plus sign and then add in a slash again and podcasts and share folders, media and you'd put your podcast in there, hit OK, hit the plus sign. And so now uh, there is one extra thing here, it's called media, but uh, right there I don't feel, I don't use it and you don't have to put it in there. So we're gonna get rid of that. And that's all we have to do for this part. So then we click save. Once that's done, uh, give it a few minutes to spin up. And then after you've done that, Copy your IP address, paste that there, and then put colon 4040, and then hit enter. Okay, then it's time to log in. So you log in as admin, and the password is admin. And I'm going to click remember me and log in. And so now we're in here. So they want you to do a few things. Change the admin password, set up music folders, uh, and then external documentation. So we're not going to do that today. Uh, the media folders, how you would do that is so we already have that music folder set up. So we can type in a slash and then podcast. 
And that would go to our podcast folder. And then we would click save. And that's how you would add a folder. Okay, next we can go down the side here. You can create a playlist, import a playlist. We're going to click on Johnny Cash here. And so here you can see our music is. If we click on one of the other ones, you can see they show up. And so back to Johnny Cash. Uh, we're going to play a song to see if it works. Uh, if we star any ones, we can do that here. And then we can go over to starred and it shows up there. Playlists are for when we have make playlists. Podcasts are either ones we add into our folder or subscribe to. Settings, we've already done how to add a status gives us what our actually uh, music server is doing right now. More, so the couple interesting things on here, uh, if we go down a little bit, it has Librasonic apps. And so this link doesn't work, but I'll show you where to go. So if you go to the Subsonic page and look for App Gallery, so Subsonic, uh, Librasonic is a derivative of Subsonic, so all these apps will work for Librasonic. And then finally, the just about the about page, and that's it. So that's it for today, and hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.